Let's see here another example of processing files. So we have this uh, log file of uh, the Apache web server and uh, each line looks like sort of like this. So we have the first uh, the first we have an IP address where the browser came from and then uh, this is a field of something so they are separated with dashes I think the fields and then there is a field that is not used apparently. Uh, here uh, in square brackets we have the date and this is the request and uh, this is the um, uh, state, uh, the status code, so 200 would be okay, and so on. Lots of more data at the end. It's not that interesting. What we are interested in is uh, separating the IP addresses here. So you see, as you can see there are uh, 127.0.0.1 which is localhost and all kind of other IP addresses. So we would like as really really a simple thing count how many times localhost was using the uh, access the server and how many times other hosts and um, here is the script so we basically have two counters a local and a remote and we'll co count the various uh, access the lines based on on this we have the file name in um, in the variable uh, open or die that's the regular thing that we have been doing so far just to open the file so we have the file handler now and then we, we declare the two variables setting to the zero then we have the loop so we go over using the while loop we go over line by line we go over the file so the dollar line is always one of the lines of from the log file and then we am chomp it even though uh, it's not really necessary because we're not dealing with the right hand side of the of the of the line of the rows so this is actually not necessarily at this point then i call index you remember index will find the location of a substring within a larger string. So we provide line, which is uh, where we are looking for, and we provide the empty uh, uh, space. So this is a string with one space. If I go back up here, I, you can see that in every line, the first space is just immediately after the IP address. And as you can see, the IP addresses have different lengths based on how many digits each part of them have. So we are looking for the first space that we know that that's where the IP address ends. So index will return the location where the IP address ends and because this is counting from zero, this is actually the same as the length of the IP address. So let's say this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the location ten and this means that you have exactly ten characters in here. So this is the length that the IP address uh, has. So then we can use substring to fetch the that part of the string. So we provide the line, the original line, and then from zero we would like this is the offset and this is the length, 10 characters in this uh, case, but in every row that might be different. And that's what it returns. It returns this particularly particular substring at the beginning, which is the IP address. And then what we do here is check if IP address is the is the local host is a specific IP address we would like to count as local. Then we increment the local counter. Otherwise, we increment the remote counter. And that's it. This will go over line by line, over the whole file, and no matter if it's 10 gigabyte file maybe. And then at the end it will print out the result of how many local and how many remote access we had.